Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Nerd Block subscription box. Um, I have got the Sci Fi Block. This is a new subscription for me. Um, if I like this month's box, then I'm going to continue getting it. Um, I have thought about swapping next month's to the Horror Block, um, but I should probably see how this one goes first. So if you want to see me unbox the Sci Fi Block for September, September, um, then please keep watching. Alright, so I'm actually surprised at how big this box is. Um, I think it's actually quite large. Um, as far as I know, this should have four to six collectibles in it, um, including a t-shirt as well. Um, I think the themes for this month were Star Trek, Star Wars, X-Files, and then some others. Um, so I'm actually so excited this just arrived, so let's open it up. Alrighty. I can see a t-shirt and it looks cool. Um, let's grab the first item. I'm going to try and not look in the box as I grab them because normally I look in the box and I feel like it spoils stuff. Um, so I'm going to do the t-shirt first. I know a lot of unboxers do it last, but I'm so excited for a t-shirt. Okay, so like I thought it would be, it's an X-Files t-shirt. Um, normally if you see the I want to believe t-shirts you can recognize that it's X-Files however I feel like this one's more of a deep cut um, it is a reference to an early episode in season one it says Lake Okoboji I want to believe um, and if you know I like forests and pretty trees um, so this is got some tree porn on it um, I'm so excited to wear this I don't really like wearing white t-shirts, but I'll make an exception. So for reference, I got this, I think I got it in the unisex and it's a medium. All right, next up is a box and it's a Star Wars Death Star <laughs> ice mold. I've actually wanted one of these. Oh, there's something else. We'll spoil it. Um, so this makes four Death Star ice spheres um, so it's got the bottom um, and then a separate bit as well um, so you just pour the water in and then pull them apart to see the ice um, so that's pretty cool that's actually really good quality um, licensed Disney product as well all right I'm gonna try and pull out the little it looked like a patch that I just had and threw back in I don't think I threw it back in the box Alright, I'll grab something else. Um, oh, there it is. Alright, so this is a temporary tattoo and it says death from above. I don't know if this is a reference to anything. I can't for the life of me think what it's from. I feel bad about that. Um, does it Alrighty, next we have... Oh, it's so cute. It's a little like lunchbox tin um, and it's got Kirk and Spock on the front. It's a 50th anniversary item. Um, this is adorable by Teeny Tins. So I guess this could be good. Um, probably not for lunch, but um, anything that I want to keep in my bag or maybe some like little treats to leave at work. Um, or just at home, but that's so adorable. Um, these items so far are really good. All right, I think there's one or two things left in the box. Um, next up we have, ooh. Okay, I love this. I don't even fully know what it is yet, but I love it. Um, so it's an FBI confidential file. It's an X-Files. Um, chain of custody molder. Um, so it looks to be a brown paper bag. Um, brown paper bags, like a little while ago, or just paper bags were like an in thing that people would use for like laundry and crafting supplies, blankets and stuff all through their house. And it's supposed to be quite good quality. Um, and I assume that's what it is. So I'm just going to open it up. It's a lunch bag. So it's like insulated on the inside to keep things cool. I can't, so good. I want to believe tag there. 
um, and it's got some Velcro. Weird Velcro. There we go. Little lunch bag. Next up, we have woo, Doctor Who. Doctor Who comic. New Adventures with the Third Doctor. Oh, so it's an older one. Number one. Oh, so it's actually for October. Very recent one. So I've never read any Doctor Who comics before, and I'm not the biggest Doctor Who fan. I mean, I used to watch it sometimes with my family. Um, I might give this to like my dad or my sister. I know they definitely prefer Doctor Who over me. Um, it'd be cool to read it, but I'm just someone else might like it a little bit more than me. Okay, one last item, and it's a print. There you go. You probably can't see from far away, uh, but it appears to be female characters from major science fiction TV shows or films. Um, so we've got Ellen Ripley from Aliens. I'm not actually sure who that is, but we've got Uhura from Star Trek. Um, um, Fifth Element. I can't remember her name. I really can't. Um, and then Leia from Star Wars. If you know who this is, and I feel like I probably should know, let me know. Alright, last, last item I lied is a shirt punch, $10 credit. Probably gonna buy a t-shirt. Pretty excited about that. Um, they do have heaps of cool things and I think they have pop vinyls as well. So that's cool. And on the back is like a little puzzle piece. Um, it's all guys, Spider-Man. I think you put them all together. I'm not sure what happens if it's just a collector thing or not, but that's cool. Alright, just a card to promote next month's box. Um... So October's sci-fi block will feature a prehistoric exclusive for fans of Jurassic Park. Maybe I won't swap it. Maybe I'll leave it. I love Jurassic Park. Um, if you can see my Indominus Rex from Jurassic World there. Um, but it also has items from Mystery Science Theatre 3000. I honestly don't know what that is. And Judge Dredd, um, which Ben loves. So maybe I'll just leave it at the sci-fi box for next month. Alright, finally is the card that tells you what everything is um so let me look at it all right we got the x-files lunch bag maintain the proper chain of custody with this exclusive x-files lunch bag use it to hold your food or evidence fake grease stains included probably favorite item just for uniqueness honestly um and the ten dollar credit for shirk punch and on the back we've got the shirt, the X-Files Lake Okoboji one, which is actually a Nerd Block exclusive. Thought I hadn't seen it before. Um, the Death Star Ice Mold. Also, a everything except the Ice Mold is actually a Nerd Block exclusive. So we've got the little Star Trek lunchbox. Um, oh, the temporary tattoo is Starship Troopers. Oh, and Patch. There was a Patch. I threw mine away. I lied. There it is, so it's exactly the same pattern as the temporary tattoo, um, but just in patch form. Um, so sewing it on, I assume it's not an iron-on one, but that's cool, there's so much in this box. Um, and then the Doctor Who um, cover variant of the comic, and then finally Tom Kennedy's Space Girls art print. Um, and it doesn't list all the characters, because that one female, I just don't know. Alright, so that's my first sci-fi nerd block or just nerd block in general. Um, I loved that. I got this subscription box because I'd watched a few unboxings for it and thought it looked like one of the better quality, um, better money for value boxes out there. Um, I used to get Loot Crate, but I just thought it dropped off a little bit. Um, and I've got a few, or well, just one of the band boxes now. And that was quite expensive to have it shipped down to Australia. Um, in total, so I don't think I'll get those again. Um, I thought about getting the October one because it's kind of ha Halloween themed and that'd be really cool to have, um, but I might leave it because I think it was like $70 by the time um, through currency conversion and stuff, so it was crazy. I think the nerd block is 20 US 
um, and I think with postage and stuff it came in at about 40 Australian dollars um, and I think for what I got I mean that t-shirt alone I could probably buy for 30 dollars so that was great um, heaps of great quality items I'm so excited that the X-Files ones were really good um, I did get X-Files items in the BAM box I think and they don't really live up to my expectations um, so the t-shirt is awesome um, and also the lunch bag. I'm so excited for the little tin and the Star Wars ice molds. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to get a Jurassic Park item as well. So let me know down below what you think of the nerd block. Um, tell me if you get one of the others. I think there's comic, junior, classic, arcade, and then the sci-fi and horror ones. Um, leave any comments or questions down below. Please keep an eye out for my upcoming spooky series of Halloween and horror themed video reviews and please subscribe to my channel really help me out a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye